the French researcher Maurice Bucaille was trying to discover how this mummy, this pharaoh died, when at late night he concluded his final analysis. The remains of the salt stuck in his body was a shining evidence that he had drowned and his body was retrieved from the sea swiftly after he drowned. It was also obvious that they rushed to mummify his body so that his body would remain intact. But Maurice Bukal puzzled over a question, how did this body in compared to other mummified bodies of other ancient Egyptians remain that intact although it was recovered from the sea? Maurice was busy conducting a final report while thinking as to whether the pharaoh's body was recovered from the sea and mummified immediately after he drowned. But he was surprised when he was told that the Muslim's Quran in which they believe narrates the story that says pharaoh drowned and that his body remained intact even after he drowned. He got more surprised and kept on asking where did the Muslim's Quran quote this data from while the mummy was not discovered until 1898. The Quran has been recited by Muslims for over 1400 years. Until a few decades ago, the entire mankind including Muslims did not know that the ancient Egyptians had mummified their pharaohs. Maurice Bukal stayed up all this night gazing at pharaoh's body, thinking deeply of what his fellow researchers told him about the Muslim's Quran, explicitly establishing that this body was recovered after drowning. Dr. Morris thought that, is it believable that Muhammad peace be upon me all about this 1400 years ago? Dr. Morris Bukal spent 10 years conducting a study as to how far the recently scientific fact matched that mentioned in the Quran, trying to reassure himself that the Quran has never contradicted with any single scientific fact. He came up with the earth-shaking book on the Holy Quran, which jolted the entire Western states. In the preface of his book, Dr. Morris said, these scientific areas which Quran established in compared to other scriptures filled me up with a deep surprise early on, since it never struck my mind to see such a large amount of scientific issues in such a variable and accurate way that they are a mirror image of what has recently been discovered. Finally, Dr. Maurice Bukail, after so many years of research, embraced Islam because he understood that the Quran is the true words of God.